Dr. Rajul, board certified hospital physician, who's been in the trenches and the front line during this corona epidemic. It's been two groups of people, people who think this is fake, created by the government, trying to make money, and then there's another group of people that think it's gonna be a zombie apocalypse, end of the world, they're hoarding, they're making things worse. My job today is to talk science, logic, and facts, and try to bridge those two groups together. Because if we work together, we will come up with a cure, we will slow down this trend, and we will flatten the curve. So who's the population at risk, and why is corona aggressive in these patients? Elderly, over 65, heart patients, anybody with any pulmonary issues, anybody with autoimmune disease, anybody that's taken autoimmune drugs or prednisone, chemo patients, dialysis patients, list goes on and on. It's a lot of people, guys. 50 million people in the United States are over 65 years old. That's 15% of the population. 20 million with heart disease, 30 million with pulmonary disease. These are the people at risk. These are the people that we're seeing that we're putting on ventilators, they're needing IV steroids. Some of them are ending up in the ICU. So this is a serious problem, guys. But panicking, hoarding, and freaking out is not gonna help the situation. So let's talk about why social distancing and um, just confinement is important. If I get the coronavirus, no big deal. I'm a 30-year-old healthy guy, probably nothing will happen. The problem is if I give it to my grandfather or your grandfather or grandmother, they're probably gonna get pretty sick. Let's talk about statistics. The flu, we have a vaccine, we have treatment, and the infective transmission rate is one, meaning if you get the flu, probably one other person will get it. Transmission rate for corona is three. Guys, this is multiplying so fast, we don't have enough ventilators, we don't have enough hospital beds, and the government needs to be more proactive getting the testing kits, getting the masks, also providing more ventilators and hospital beds. Number one killer in the United States is coronary artery disease. Imagine your grandfather, grandmother, anybody, any of your relatives gets a heart attack and we don't have hospital beds, they're gonna end up going to another hospital and by the time they get there, they're probably gonna have a bad outcome. So this is why social distancing is important, guys. Not only that, you may have coronavirus, you may have it for a couple weeks and have zero symptoms. When you get the flu, the incubation period is one to three days. That means you're gonna feel the symptoms within one to three days. You can have the coronavirus in up to two weeks, not have any symptoms. You can go party with your friends, turn up, and you can infect the whole bar, and then that, that number is gonna keep multiplying. It says three, guys, so three, nine, 27, so on and so forth. So what we have to do as a community is educate and wash our hands and not wear masks if you don't have corona. You're just wasting resources, right? So what are the symptoms? Fever in 85% of the people. When I say fever, I'm talking above 100.5 Fahrenheit. Also, short of breath, cough. Now, if you have diarrhea, runny nose, sore throat, those are not typical symptoms of corona. With corona, what it, how the way it works is it binds to a glycoprotein in the alveolar cells with an enzyme called ACE2 that's in your lungs. These patients are getting bad pneumonias, they're ending up on ventilators, they're getting acute respiratory distress syndrome, and people that are older that have comorbid conditions are also getting multi-organ failure. So guys, it is a serious problem, numbers don't lie. Now, the future of corona is looking good. This enzyme called ACE that's in the lungs, you guys may have heard of ACE inhibitors, blood pressure meds like lisinopril. There's already trials being instituted to help eradicate this disease. And WHO is planning to release a vaccine by the end of the uh, middle of next year. So we know all these sporting events are closed, the NFL, the NBA, festivals, so on and so forth. What's not closed is self-care, love, hope. We will rise like we always do because we're humans, we're smarter than viruses. We just have to support each other. We have to come together and work together. God bless, guys. Stay safe.